Okay, I had some questions about the tension on the Guhong. Uh, mine is good and it turns well and is very fast. And someone said theirs sucked and locked up and popped and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I'd talk about the tension that I have it on. Uh, for me and my cubing style, my cube does not pop on me. But when I built the cube, I basically, um, the washer on the screw is kind of built into the screw head. So when I was building it, I just made the ridge of the centerpiece and the washer flush. And I used that as my guide to make sure they were all identical. And once, it, once all the centerpieces were in, I made sure that all the screw heads were making a plus on every side. And just so you can see, I don't know how well this is going to turn out in low light, but the, the width of give from the springs is about the width of a penny on mine. So basically what you do is you put it all back together once it's constructed, once they all have uniform tension, and you cube it. And if it pops, what you do is you tighten all of the center screws an eighth of a turn. So you go one, two, three, four, top an eighth, bottom an eighth. And then you put it back together and do it again. One thing I <clears throat> noticed about this cube is that when you put it back together, it doesn't turn well with the center caps off. That's because the center caps add to the stability of the cube itself. So I thought that was kind of weird, and it, when I was first building it and putting it together, I was turning it without having the, the tops on, and it was kind of locky and locking up and all that kind of stuff. But once, once I put the center caps back on it, it was fine. And this particular cube, um, just for its history, I guess, I, I put in injectable silicone when I first got it, which is, you know, Maro Lube. And then a little bit later, I put in, I think, a little bit of Jigaloo. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember. But then I ended up using Lubix Lube, L-U-B-I-X. And with Lubix Lube, you lube the core, and then one drop on the entire rest of the cube. So... That's what mine looks like. So that's how my tension set, and that's how I adjust tension. So um, let me pause this and put it back together. Talk about it a little bit more.